Hello everybody, welcome back to Pap's Train Show. Today I'll be showing you how to make easy, cheap, replacement traction tires for uh, diesel locomotives like the Lifelikes and the Bachman and Tyco diesels. You used to have to always try to find them on eBay or somewhere and order them, wait for them and all that. They're cheap, about seven, eight bucks, you can make like 50 of them. So here it is. All right, I'm gonna show everybody how I make my traction tires. This is an old uh, lifelike chassis system locomotive. As you can see, it's missing all four of the front traction tires up here. And the back, back wheels are just for electrical pickup. So I'll show you how I make traction tires for these. All right. First thing you gotta do is take this cover off. Flathead screwdriver. Drives right off. Pull the axles out, the wheels out. And we'll be using heat shrink. Get this at Harbor Freight's where I got this. Try to get this little pack anywhere. Sorted sizes. Used a uh, 3 8 size. That's what I use for these diesel locomotives. That piece here. And I just take my scissors, cut off a real thin piece, about the same width as the, the wheel itself. piece there. As you can see, it's just a little smaller than the wheel. Well, it'll stretch enough to get on there and stay tight. And you just work it on there. Get it on there, hold with your finger. Take a small flathead screwdriver or something. Just work it on. Not the easiest thing sometimes. There it is. It's on there. It's the same, maybe just the hair wider than the wheel. Then I take a razor. This one's, one, it's a little dull. That way you don't slice more than you should. Then you find the edge where it goes down in and just push it down and just work your razor right around that edge. And just work the razor back back and forth a little bit. Careful not to slip out and cut your finger. Probably not the safest way to do it. Right around it. Go all the way around. I think we got it. Then they got a little too thick right here still, so I'll just push it down in there a little bit. Trim the edge. Trim the back edge just a hair.
check it. That looks pretty good. And then we'll do the rest of them. All right, I've got all four of them done. You can see So when you get that pride on there, it'll overhang the lip on the outside of this wheel. And then you just take your razor. I don't use a brand new sharp blade. Use one I've used that's kind of dulled down a little bit. That way I don't cut into the plastic wheel. And you just find that groove on the top part of that wheel. And just work your razor around and trim it nice and slow so you don't cut yourself or mess the wheel up much that one turned out nice I don't know how long this stuff will last but it's just a quick fix And it's a lot cheaper and easier to get than the rubber traction tires. Trying to find them, buy them, wait for them to come in. Like I said, I got this from Harbor Freight. It's just marine grade heat shrink. I don't know if there's a difference between marine grade and regular. But I use this on my boat, so this is what I have left over. Uh, it's like, I don't know, what, seven bucks or something? So, you can probably make out of that package probably a good 50, wheel, 50 rubber t or uh, traction tires out of a heat shrink. <clears throat> Just, like I said, I'll take my scissors and just kind of eyeball, let, you know, cut, cut it off. Just enough. That's the thickness of that wheel. Just leave a little bit of overhang, and you can trim it with the razor once you get it pried on. And I use just a little flathead screwdriver, small one. It's real little. Help pry them on, and they go tight. You don't don't have to do anything else. Nice and tight. Now you probably could use. The bigger ones, maybe for steam locomotives, I haven't tried yet. But I've done my lifelike locomotives, and it seemed to run okay. So I'll put this one back together and see what it does. There's a lifelike locomotive that has new traction tires I made for it. And this one also. Here's a pair of lifelike Union Pacific locomotives. Both are powered. That's a lifelike locomotive with two Manitoua Amtrak passenger cars. That's a lifelike chassis.
That's a River Rossi Super Hudson. This is my Cincinnatian that I built a few years ago. We'll have to turn that Hudson down. It's high balling around. Better look at the Super Hudson. Slowed it down a little bit. That's just the Nathrin. Cincinnati going across the big suspension bridge. It's like it's headed back into Cincinnati. That locomotive is a combination of three locomotives. It's got a Mano 2, a 462 drive, River Rossi tender, and the shell was made from a Bachman J class with a lot of modifications.
Here comes the Cincinnati with the bright LED headlight. Well, got a derailment. Should re-rail itself before it gets back on that bridge. Guess we'll find out. I've got re-railers on both sides of that suspension bridge just for that reason. Still going, so must be okay. Well, let's go up the tracks. wait and see when it comes back around to make sure it's see if it's still derailed Yep. There we go. Let's see what I'll do now. And even I have derailments. Sometimes I have a nice good old fashioned train wreck on here. Let's see if it's still on the track. like it is.
remember everybody please like and subscribe Well, we had a train wreck. Alright, we had a little derailment up there with the Cincinnatian. So we'll just shut them down and take a look at all the locomotives that we ran today on the layout. Alright, here's one of the lifelike chassis system locomotives we ran today. It's got uh, new traction tires on it. And then Here's my Cincinnatian that I built. The chassis is a 462 Manitoua chassis. The locomotive shell is made from a Bachman J class that's cut down and reworked. And the tender is a River Aussie tender. Then my River Aussie Super Huts and one I got two of these. Runs real good. Then we got this is a Atherin Southern Pacific F unit. Them things run great. I've got quite a few of those. Now we got another Santa Fe lifelike locomotive that has new traction tires on it that I made. Another lifelike locomotive, Union Pacific. And these two lifelike Union Pacific locomotives, they're both powered, run pretty good. Then the Amtrak lifelike with the Tyco Manitou Apache cores that are lighted. And then another Santa Fe set of lifelike powered in a dummy. And all the lifelikes have the new traction tires on them. I replaced them all. I hope everybody enjoyed this video about how I do the replacement traction tires for these cheaper diesels, the lifelike and Tycos and Bachmans. Now you could probably use the bigger uh, pieces of that shrink wrap for steamers or others. <clears throat> I haven't tried that yet. So. I'll probably try that here in the future. But what's a video without running trains? So we had to run some trains. We had the Cincinnati and that I built. And some other ones. And I thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thanks.